TikTok ads are starting to become really popular in the digital marketing community and it only makes sense as to why. So many brands are literally switching over from Facebook ads, Snapchat ads, YouTube ads, and literally going to TikTok because there's so many conversions happening on the platform. And with all of that attention, it gives you lots of opportunities to be able to get sales with TikTok. And that's exactly what we're gonna be covering. But most brands and businesses are missing this one key mistake that they continuously make and I wanna be able to show you exactly what you can do to be able to get high converting TikTok ads. What's up y'all, it's Chase Chabel here, your favorite digital marketer. And we literally cover content online and help some of the biggest brands and creators in the world that you know and follow be able to generate successful results using Facebook ads and TikTok ads and even Google ads online. And we literally have hundreds of students taking our online trainings and programs where we have 600 plus six and seven figure earners who have literally taken our trainings and been able to scale their actual brand or business using these platforms. And by the way, if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe because it truly does help the algorithm. So let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, so we're gonna be covering high converting TikTok ads. And we've literally spent $600,000 on TikTok through testing this far in the last 90 days on the platform. And literally all of our insights in today's video are recommendations we're making purely based off of data. None of our personal opinion is in this video. It's 100% backed by the actual science and data that we see with the testing that we're actually doing on TikTok with our platform and being able to understand what makes the most sense for our clients' business and being able to generate them results. And through that, we're able to identify what TikTok ads are really converting best and be able to give those insights to you so that way you can be successful as well. And you can quite literally see that the 600,000 that we've spent in this amount of time has literally generated over 147 million impressions, 2 million clicks, and we're literally getting cost per clicks of 30 cents a click. These days, that is far and few between on other platforms, so you can definitely see the opportunities that you have on TikTok alone. So let's go ahead and go through some of the ads that actually don't work on TikTok and what we're seeing. So these are just some examples of TikTok ads that don't work. There's a common misconception that people have. It's that they're running Facebook ads, they're getting good results, and then they wanna use the similar content that they have there on TikTok because they think it's just copy and paste. And to be honest with you, it's not like that. Using images or GIFs on your actual TikTok ads are not going to increase your conversions. If anything, it's actually gonna decrease your conversion rates and actually raise your overall cost per CPM. And you know you don't want your actual TikToks to look like ads. And a big motto that TikTok has is make TikToks, not ads. And that's the main premise here. You don't wanna be creating content that looks like this, where you have these overlays or these big call outs of the you know, specific offer and like red, you know, these red circles here or having you know, the branding on the side of this. Those types of ads just don't work on TikTok. People scroll right past those. You want the content to look native. You want it to feel like user generated content. In fact, I'm actually gonna be covering ways you can get UGC later in this video, but specifically right here, you wanna make sure to avoid you know, templated content. Even some of the biggest brands in the world have fault prone to this, where they actually you know, use the branding and they use these basic videos. And while they get engagements, they're not really resulting in conversions. So if you're really looking to drive actual sales, and increase your actual conversion rate and get more people to actually convert from seeing your videos and feel that they're actually a part of the brand, then you're gonna wanna create TikTok ads that are actually native on the platform and have these key conversion metrics driven behind them. And so these are just some examples of TikTok ads that do convert. You wanna focus on actual vertical video and fast cut, you know, jump cut videos that are you know, no longer than one to three seconds per clip, maybe six seconds at the absolute most, where you're actually clipping throughout the video. So that way you can keep people's attention throughout the actual TikTok. TikTok is very fast paced and you wanna keep that you know, flow going so people stay engaged. And this allows you to deliver way more information about your product or service in a much shorter time frame. So that way you can get the most out of the actual information you're delivering to you know, the user who's actually viewing your video. And this allows you to, you know, be able to deliver a lot of information, but not only that, but creating raw and authentic creative content is going to be the main key point here. You want to have content that looks native. And for example, you can see a lot of these content, 
In creative videos over here, they show people in the actual video. They actually have creators doing unboxings. It's very raw. It's quite literally showing the product as it would arrive and them actually going through the tutorial of walking through what it is that you get, what it looks like, what's the experience. So that way people can envision that for themselves at their actual home. Because it is so raw, there's not really anything to hide. It's very honest and true to what is being shown in the actual video. And you can use sound and text overlays throughout the video, and that is super important for keeping people engaged and being able to drive a higher conversion rate. All of the top ads that we've seen with our clients and you know from other actual brands is having sound in the video is very important. Not only that, but you wanna have text throughout the video. You might have executed a flawless TikTok ad with no text, but the problem is it could actually get better conversions if you just happen to have text. That's because people who have their sound off are now reading the text. And secondly, if they have their sound on, they're still staying more engaged because they're reading, listening, and viewing at the exact same time, which is a full stimuli for an individual to be fully endorsed in what it is that you're delivering to them. So that way they can make a decision and have the right information to make a purchase or convert with your actual service. And so a good way to look at this and understand, well, Chase, how can I create this style of content? How can I find videos like this? You know, I'm a small brand or I'm a medium sized brand. We've executed maybe Facebook, Instagram, and other platforms very well, and y'all are very successful on other platforms, but you haven't really cracked the code on TikTok or you just don't know where to start or find video. And so a good way to look at this is using a hashtag called TikTok made me buy it. And this is actually a phenomenon that has happened on TikTok, and it's a prime example of ways to actually create content that's going to convert. And making TikTok made me buy it hashtag style creatives People love these style videos since they are honest, raw, entertaining, and genuine. And as you can see here in this chart, this is over the course of 2021 that this hashtag has been growing in views every single month. And as you can see, this is millions of viewers that are actually seeing this actual hashtag. And so many brands are being discovered using this and people are buying off the charts through this actual hashtag. And the reason is, is because these videos are so raw, they're so true, they're so focused on what it is that people are going over. And that's why the saying is, TikTok made me buy it. And it's because people are actually discovering brands for the first time on TikTok and making a purchase online, whereas they hadn't in the past. They might've been on Facebook and seen brands all the time. They might be on other platforms. They get served ads all day and they don't buy. But for the very first time, people were getting on TikTok and they're seeing such a genuine video that there's no marketing or you know main push behind it. There's so much you know trueness and honesty in the video that people genuinely just want to buy and be a part of the brand because they loved it that much. Which means that you have so many more people who historically would never buy from an ad that are now buying from seeing these videos on TikTok and are now actually converting on ads. This is giving brands the opportunity to actually get customers where they hadn't once been able to. And so this is a growing trend people are discovering brands from and buying from them because of this on TikTok. And so if you actually go to this hashtag, TikTok made me buy it, you can see the types of content that's actually on here. And these are videos that creators are making after they actually you know, made a purchase. And this is a good example of what you can do as a brand is having creators actually create content similar to this, or you'd be able to create content, you know, showing the rawness of actually going through the experience of what it'd be like to purchase your product. So here's an example. So this video is no longer in 10 seconds, it demonstrates exactly what it is. It unboxes it from the moment the package arrives. It shows the front of the box, what the unboxing experience looks like, shows the actual product. Then it demonstrates how the product actually works. And it looks pretty cool. And because of that, got 5.6 million likes. That's absolutely incredible if you think about it. Unboxing, all they had to do was do an unboxing and show the product but most brands will just show images and they don't actually show how to set it up or they don't show what it looks like, you know, in raw form. They might actually create all these post production edited videos or they might spend all this time creating graphic designs and stuff, trying to educate people on like, you know, what are the benefits of the product and all of this, but it's not raw. And so, you know, consumers are having a hard time trusting brands who aren't, you know, staying true to themselves. And this is a big trend we're seeing right now that's happening in 2022 is just being true to your actual brand. 
and this is allowing a lot of individuals to make a purchase decision from seeing videos like this. And quite honestly, a video like this, you know, you could use this in an ad and just add some text overlays and have a call to action at the end of this video and it could straight up start converting. So let's look at some more style videos that we could actually see here. So this is another video where it's just showing somebody quite literally getting a backpack from Disney. This is likely to increase sales for Disney themselves. Rather than them having to run some big commercial campaign, literally creators are going to their actual, you know, Disneyland or Disney World, buying this backpack and then showing, you know, this on TikTok and people are loving this actual backpack from Disney and are likely to go and buy it now. So. That's why people are using this TikTok made me buy it because it's essentially saying this is the first time that they bought something and wanted to actually showcase it and other people agreed. They absolutely love it as well. And so if you wanna find videos that are really going to allow you to be able to make posts on your page and be able to get a lot of discovery, you can use the TikTok made me buy it hashtag to go and find videos that you can create, you know, similar content from what you're actually seeing on there. And then once you see something actually Get a lot of views lots of engagements what you can do is then parlay that into the actual you know TikTok ads manager where you start to include text overlays and have a strong call to action because we know call to actions at the end of videos at the beginning of videos increase conversion rates now that video might have gotten a lot of engagement organically but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to convert perfectly and so that's really important is the key thing is making sure you have text blurps throughout the actual video and the call to action at the end and at the beginning to ensure that you're going to get a good conversion rate and not just engagements lots of people have great engaging ads they have very engaging content but it doesn't always mean conversions and what we're looking to do is increase ads that convert so let's go ahead and go to the actual top TikTok ads and we can go to a page where as you can see here this is a top ads on TikTok and these are some of the top performing ads that TikTok is showcasing and these are brands that have made you know videos that are converting at a very high rate and we can watch these videos to actually see what it is that's converting and so here we have morning brew which is a website that delivers information via email on data business so entrepreneurs can essentially stay informed all right so this is actually very similar to an ad we ran for one of our clients that we spent three hundred thousand dollars on a single campaign and it was a interview style creative where the creator was actually interviewing themselves by asking questions and this is really good because rather than you have to ask another individual, you can just shoot this content yourself and answer the questions that are commonly asked. And so for instance, they're doing an interview style where she's on one side of the video playing a character and then on the other side answering the questions. And these types of videos work very well on TikTok. And like I said, we scaled a campaign to over 300,000 in spend on a single creative that generated over 100 million impressions from a style of video that's just like this. So we know these types of creatives convert and it's obvious that they do convert for other brands as well because it's on TikTok's top charts. And we were actually featured in the top 10 spot seven different times for our clients. And I can assure you these types of videos do convert. And I'll break down as to why, because when you're answering these questions back and forth, you're breaking down the objections that people might have and people were naturally curious because you're answering and asking at the same time. So you're posing a question, which is opening a loop in somebody's mind, and then you're answering it, which is closing a loop, which is keeping, you know, psychologically keeping people engaged and excited about the overall video. So they're able to deliver a lot of information here for 32 seconds, and you can see at the very end, they show where to opt in on the website. You can actually show where people can convert. And the great part about this is, is when they swipe left, that actually opens up the website for that ad. And that allows people to see the exact same page that she was just showing. And so that way they know they landed in the exact right spot and they're gonna have a higher chance of converting because they saw the actual portion of the video. If she didn't show this at the end, I can assure you their conversion rate was going to be lower. So when you show this portion of where they're gonna convert at the very end, whether it's your add to cart page, your checkout page, or the actual product page, or your opt-in page, you're gonna increase conversions because people are gonna recognize it as soon as they land on the page, and that's gonna allow you to generate more sales or capture more lead information. And so as you can see here, they have comments turned off, and they have about 24,000 likes in the last seven days, 431 shares, and in the last 30 days, they have about 93,000 likes, 1.5K shares. So, you know, this campaign's working really well for them in the conversions objective, so that is one style of creative that you know, you can take as a potential opportunity to use for your brand. So let's go ahead and look at another one. Here's an unboxing video. 
it looks like. All right, I have to pause right here because this is already hitting all the key points, all right? Watch how much is going on. Literally in six seconds, a ton has already happened. And this is really important because this plays a big and vital role in getting a higher conversion rate. So they have the text pop up, that's really important. So that's the text overlay that I'm talking about that increases conversions and keeps people engaged. Most people would actually leave out text and then she would be showing her hair flip and you wouldn't really know what's going on yet. Imagine this without text. Now she's showing this, you don't really, maybe, you think it's hair loss, you don't really know, you're having to guess yourself, but you can read as you see. So her hair's falling out by the handful. Now it's in the shower. It's an all too familiar experience that people might be having that would be a customer for this product. Showing the steps on how to use it. Explaining what the benefits are. Yep, now people are understanding, okay, if I buy this, this is the routine I would go through. And because it's a short time frame, it's very easy for people to understand wait, that's it? That's how long it takes? It's that easy? Well, now they can see exactly what's all going to include in the box. They know exactly what they're getting, how it looks, how to use it, what the benefits are, all in a matter of 35 seconds. Let's see the call to action. Boom, there we go. There's the offer. So that's great. They did the full walkthrough. They executed this flawlessly. They had the text. They had the sound. They had the walkthroughs. They had the clips. And then they had the call to action. And I was just saying, this is the exact type of content that does convert because we're using content very similar to this and we know it's converting. And so I can assure you, if you try testing a video like this and you execute it with this you know, level of focus and being able to curate a creative just like this, you're gonna do just fine on TikTok ads. Now, one thing to keep in mind is we've had you know, lots of brands be able to achieve these kind of numbers. In fact, we literally have Curtis here who literally went from zero to $2 million in sales from mastering the strategies that we actually teach. So you can definitely check out that video if you wanna see how he did it. And let's go ahead and go over how you can get content like this now. All right, so now that you know what type of creative content that actually converts, what style of video to really aim for when you're actually considering launching TikTok ads or you know wanting to actually make posts, if you don't know how to you know create this content, you understand what it is that you need, but you don't know how to get it. Maybe you're not comfortable on camera. Maybe you don't wanna be the face of your brand. Maybe you know you don't know somebody who could create the content for you. And historically, you've been able to hire graphic designers and individuals who've created the content or agencies who've done it for you. Well, what you can do is use TikTok Creator Marketplace. And what's really cool about TikTok Creator Marketplace is it's a marketplace that TikTok developed for creators to get paid and receive products from brands that don't know where to start with actually creating content themselves. And this is a perfect opportunity for you if you don't have the resources to understand how to create this content, you can quite literally have creators do it for you. And you can use their content in your ads and you can get lots of creators to create content at a very affordable rate for your brand. In fact, some of the largest companies we work with are straight up paying 25 to 50 dollars at most for hundreds of creators to create content for them. And in some cases, there's brands even getting free content from creators just by shipping them the product. And what's even more incredible is you might not even have to negotiate because these creators list their price or they list what they want up front. And all you have to do is just agree to their terms or you can offer your own terms. But in most cases, you can just search for something that you know you want as your term for getting content from creators and they're gonna have it. So let's go ahead and walk through the actual creator marketplace. So if you go to creatormarketplace.tiktok.com, you're going to be able to find, you know, ways to actually get in contact with creators. And you'll see there's lots of engagements on some of these videos. So let's go ahead and, you know, find creators. Once you click that button, you're going to be able to go into the TikTok creator marketplace. You're going to want to verify your actual business. And once you do that, you can actually start to filter by creators that you potentially want to work with. And so for instance, if you're only going to be running ads in the United States, then you might click United States. Or if you're in the UK, you might choose UK. And then you're going to choose the audience. Maybe you're selling in multiple countries like Canada, the United States, the UK, Australia. And if so, you can choose where those creators profiles, where they're getting their views from. Not every creator is going to have only one country's views. It's going to be a mix. So if you want to make sure that most of their audience is in a specific location, you can. In my opinion, I would just leave this open because People's content is delivering to the For You page the majority of the time. So that means they're always reaching new people and their followers doesn't necessarily dictate who your brand is actually going to reach. 
just because they have a certain number of you know followers or a certain number of people that follow them that are in a specific location doesn't mean that you're gonna reach those exact people. If anything, you just wanna find a creator that resonates with your brand who can actually execute the content flawlessly for you because at the end of the day, you're gonna be reaching the people you want by choosing your targeting method through the actual TikTok ads manager. In fact, we actually have a video on zero to 1K daily on how you can actually do that here. And let's go ahead and leave that spot open. And what we're gonna do is the followers. I can assure you right now with the creators we've worked with, we've worked with creators that have 100 to 1,000 followers, and we've worked with creators that have over 10 million followers. In fact, some of them have 20, 50 million followers that you know have created content. And I can assure you that they each have their own unique value prop. If you're going after creators with you know 10 to 100K, you're gonna be able to do volume at a lower rate. If you go after a big creator, I would only recommend to do that if you have the budget and I would definitely test multiple of them. You don't want to just, you know, spend five, ten thousand, thirty thousand dollars on a single creator. And if the content doesn't actually convert, you're out that money. So you're going to want to do a lot of testing. And I would first start with reaching a bunch of creators at volume that you can find out which creators are going to convert best for your brand. And then if you really like them, you can continue to work with them. In fact, I do sponsored brand deals all the time with brands that reach out to me. And once they actually see that my content's converting, they're gonna wanna do multiple brand deals. In fact, I've worked with specific brands and created over 20 pieces of content for them because they know it works in their ads. So creators, once you actually see that the content works, you can continue to work with them. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose this range first for their actual followers. And then we're gonna look at their view volume. Now, view volumes are always different. Some creators get millions of views consistently, some you know, are all over the place. And it's totally fine to leave the average views open. So that way we can actually just get the content. We're not really worried about it delivering so much to their followers or for you page. We're more or less looking to get the right content to use in TikTok ads. And this is the part where you can actually choose if the price is negotiable or if you just wanna send them a free product because you're an early stage startup or brand and you just wanna ship out your product to get content in return, you can select this option. And then for the engagement rate, I wouldn't so much worry about this because some TikTok content reaches lots of individuals. They'll get millions of views and tens of thousands of likes and some videos will get hundreds of thousands of views with you know, 50 to 100,000 likes. It's pretty crazy that the engagement rates can be very different. So you want to make sure that, you know, you leave some of these options open so that way you give your, you know, chance to have the best potential creators pop up. And emerging or expert, you can choose people who have brand experience. Right now, this is more of a new TikTok creator marketplace. So there's going to be a lot of emerging creators. So I wouldn't necessarily choose expert as of yet. I would just leave it open to all because there's going to be lots of new people joining the platform every day. And you don't want to exclude that potential opportunity of reaching out to, you know, new emerging creators. Fast growing creators, this could be great because this means that they're producing content on a regular basis. So you might actually test checking this box because that means that they're likely growing really fast. They're posting a lot. That means they're getting the hang of TikTok and that's probably right, right around the same time that you wanna be reaching out because they're getting the flow of how the platform works, which means you're probably gonna get a very fair rate. Plus you're gonna be able to get to work with a creator who's actually really emerging and cares about their content. Next thing is you can choose what space they're in. This is really important. So definitely choose the space that you're in. If you're selling cosmetics, you would choose beauty and fashion potentially. And then you could go ahead and, you know, if your products are only for male, female, or everyone, whatever the options are, you can customize it for, you know, who you want to go after specifically. We're going to leave the rest of this open. And then you just hit apply. And quite literally, TikTok is gonna show you all of these potential creators you can work with in the actual profiles of them. And you can look at their pages, look at their analytics and understand which creator makes the most sense for your brand. Now, one of the main reasons lots of brands aren't successful on TikTok, it's because they don't know where to go. They don't have the right guidance. They do things and they're testing things and don't really know exactly what it is that they should be doing. They haven't figured out the platform yet. And that's exactly why we actually put our one-on-one -on -one mentorship together, where we actually help brands, businesses, and creators be able to understand how to actually leverage TikTok, the platform itself from an organic standpoint and from an actual ad standpoint, being able to actually scale up to that first 100K month, that first million dollar month, where literally this brand right here, we helped go from zero to a million dollars in sales per month, you know, quite literally using these exact strategies. And that's exactly what we've been doing inside of our ads mastery one-on-one -on -one mentorship, 
where we literally have you know, Q&A calls every single week where we get on Zoom with you and go through your actual account and be able to make the edits live with you. And we also have trainings in an online portal where you can access this information and be able to learn these exact strategies that we're teaching here, except in a more in-depth and detailed step-by-step -step A to Z process. And the best part about that is, is we also include one-on-one -on -one calls that you can schedule at your convenience for a solid eight weeks straight, where you can actually hop on a call with some of our top media buyers at our agency, spending over eight figures in ad spend per year with the actual brands we're working with who have a vast amount of experience in being able to educate you and walk you through this process on call so that way you can fully leverage the opportunity to get great results with TikTok ads. And make sure if you have any questions at all, feel free to DM me the word mentor at Real Chase Chapel on Instagram. I'm happy to answer your questions and share more information on this so that way you can be fully successful with TikTok ads. And we only have 10 spots available per month that we're accepting to make sure that we deliver the most amount of value for our clients and be able to actually engage with them and deliver the amount of results. And it's absolutely incredible the numbers that we're seeing for these brands that are actually taking full advantage of this you know, opportunity and being able to master the TikTok ads and organic route. We're literally just a few days ago, we had a brand join and they started making the first few videos and their comedy style videos with their brand and they're literally getting thousands of views with their videos and it's so exciting to see the growth that they're having so early on just from the few steps that we've shown them to take so i really do hope you reach out and i look forward to seeing you on the next video if you really did enjoy this video please give this video a like and subscribe i'd really appreciate it we put so much work into these videos and just want to make sure that you have the best experience and success possible with testing on these platforms and i really do hope you come back to watch some more videos Thank you. Hey, if you made it to the end of this video, then I know you're an ambitious learner and you're looking for more. So go ahead and click this video here. I hand selected it for you.